obviously a, uh, a gut-wrenching loss uh, for us. Um, you know, I thought, uh, I thought our guys played really hard. I thought we left it all out there on the floor. I thought we were a better team for 39 minutes, but unfortunately we weren't able to close the game at the very end. Obviously, we've got to make our free throws. We went 13 of 29 from the free throw line. I think we missed five in a row down the stretch uh, of the game. Also had a turnover, had a foul when we weren't supposed to foul. Uh, we've got to close games better. And listen, our, mo our, our locker room was very emotional, obviously, uh, after this game. Um, you know, I told our guys we'd obviously get back together at the hotel when we're, everybody's a little bit less emotional. But we have to stick together. We don't know what our future holds. Um, but I do know this, we're, we're gonna, we always win as a team and we always lose as a team. Questions, Adam, you're first. Travis, you mentioned the foul on Scruggs at the end. Can you walk us through what happened there? Yeah, so when we're up by three, we're supposed to be in what we call smack, which is a foul around half court, right? Um, so the team can't get a three off, you know. But Paul, I don't know if he got confused with the score. Um, you know, we were only up by two. He missed the free throw, obviously. And he fouled, obviously, and then they, they knocked them both free throws. So not supposed to foul when you're up by two. Right here in the middle. Uh, Coach, you had mentioned before the season that kind of your motto for this year was to finish. What are your feelings on that at this point? Yeah, listen, I, I, thought, uh, I thought we turned it around against Georgetown. I really did, and I felt really good going into this game. I thought we played well tonight for 39 minutes. You know, and then, uh, then then we didn't finish the game well, obviously, and and that has been one of our mottos kind of throughout this season is finish, 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 finish every rep that you do in practice, finish every uh, lift that you do in the weight room, uh, finish every drill, finish games, and we weren't able to do that tonight, which is disappointing. But like I said, listen, it's not on one person; it's on us. It's on us as a team, me included. Uh, I'm right at the forefront of that. In the middle, Neil. Uh, obviously, the decision is out of your hands, but what do, you, what do you do until the committee's decision comes out? Is it make it that much more difficult that you just have to kind of wait and see? Yeah, I mean, uh, listen, I, I wish it was up to us. I wish we were still playing, right? You know, it's, um, it is what it is. You know, not, now, uh, now it's in, in the hands of other people. When, when you don't control your own destiny, yeah, I mean, it, 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 you're, you're nervous constantly, right? It just puts a pit in your stomach because it's what we work for every single day. It's what these guys work hard for every day, starting last spring, all summer, all fall, all season. We've had 98 practices this season. Um, it's a gut wrencher. So, you know, again, I'm hopeful that we'll be in it because I think we're a team that can advance and, and, uh, and really do some damage in the NCAA tournament. In the middle of time. Yeah, Coach uh, Butler had 32 free throws. Yeah. Uh, you guys had 29 free throws. Butler hit 25 of their 32. You guys hit. 13. 13. You left 16 points. Yep. Yeah. At the line. Yeah, we got to knock them in. And we got to make our free throws. And we missed several of those right down the stretch as well. So, again, I got confidence in all of our guys. Our guys work really hard on their game, uh, whether it's in practice, outside of practice. Again, I, I don't know what happened tonight, unfortunately, with our free throws, but obviously it was a big reason why we lost. Last question, Adam. Jack, um, you know, you had a great season. Obviously, this is a tough way for it to possibly end. Can you sort of walk us through what this game was like um, to watch it slip away like that? Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> we're all grateful to be able to play here at Madison Square Garden. You know, it's the mecca of, of college basketball. Um, it's one of the best tournaments. Um, thought we went out there. We fought for the most part. We just didn't execute coming down the stretch. Xavier, thank you. Thanks. Thanks.